Hello students. Today we are going to discuss about the digestive system in humans. The digestive system of humans includes all the organs responsible for intake of food, its digestion, absorption, assimilation and removal of undigested waste. It consists of elementary canal that is the digestive tract and associated digestive glands. The elementary canal in humans is approximately 9 meters long and has different parts modified for specialized functions like ingestion, digestion, absorption and egestion. There are three main associated digestive glands which pour their secretions into the elementary canal. These are salivary glands, liver and pancreas. The digestive tract starts from the mouth and ends at the anus. We will discuss about each part one by one. First is the mouth and the buccal cavity. It consists of mouth, tongue and teeth. Mouth helps in ingestion or taking in of the food. Tongue helps in mixing of the food with saliva and swallowing of food. It has large, it has taste buds which detect the different tastes of food. Teeth are present in the upper and lower jaw in, in the gums. They help in chewing of food. From the mouth, the food goes into the food pipe or oesophagus. It is a long muscular tube that leads from the buccal cavity to the mouth, to the stomach. The food passes through the food pipe to the stomach, which is a thick walled, large, U-shaped structure that connects food pipe to small intestine. The inner lining of the stomach produces secretion called gastric juice, which contains mucus, hydrochloric acid and enzymes. From the stomach, the food goes into the small intestine. It is a highly coiled 7.5 meters long present in the lower abdomen. It secretes intestinal juice and also receives secretions from liver and pancreas. The liver secretes bile juice. Pancreas secrete pancreatic juice and intestinal glands secrete intestinal juice. The inner walls of the intestine ha has a large number of finger-like projections called villi for absorption of nutrients from the food. The remaining food then enters the large intestine. It is a shorter and wider tube of about 1.5 meters in length. It has two main parts, colon and rectum. Colon is in the form of an inverted U. And rectum is a small part that stores the undigested food. The undigested food is expelled out from an opening called anus from the body. So that is a complete description of how food moves in the elementary canal. Thank you.